Hey, we're out here at uh, Tally Vineyards, uh, south of San Luis Obispo, a little bit east of Arroyo Grande. Actually, we're located right now in the Royal Grande Valley. There's about a thousand acres of vineyards grown in this uh, area. A lot of cool grape varieties, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, they do very well here. And Tally makes some great wines. Hi, I'm Barry Cleveland. We're out at Tally Vineyards today and we're speaking with Brian Tally. Brian's the president of Tally Vineyards and Brian, thanks for having us here. Well, I'm, I'm happy that you're here, Barry. Very good. Well, tell us about Tally Vineyards. You've been out here for a while and before you were a vineyard, you were, you've been growing lots of things out here. Yeah, my, my grandfather started Tally Farms back in 1948 and uh, we've grown vegetables here since that time. We, we continue to grow vegetables and got into growing wine grapes in 1982, made our first wines in 1986. My goodness. And so what kind of uh, grapes are best grown out here? What, what have you had success with? Uh, our real specialty here is Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. They do very well in this very cool coastal climate that we have here. Uh -huh. And now we're not in Edna Valley, we're just south of Edna Valley, is that right? Right, we're here in the Arroyo Grande Valley. Mm -hmm. Okay, and there's only a couple wineries really located in this area. You have a good uh, amount of land here devoted to grapes. How many acres are you growing right here for uh, vineyards right now? Uh, well, in our, our own operations, uh, we have about 200 acres here um, and, and a, about a 40 acre vineyard up in, in, uh, in Paso Robles. Okay. Uh, on the overall uh, Arroyo Grande area, there's about a thousand acres of grapes. A thousand acres, well, that's goodness. That's right, I heard uh, a farmer tell me the other day, uh, a grape grower, that they can never really judge for a plan for an average harvest because there's no such thing as an average harvest. It's either one way or the other, yields are down, yields are up, uh, bud break doesn't work out, frost come. It's, it's a tough business to be in. Well, it, it is, and it's something that my family's been doing for a long time. I was, was born and raised with it. Uh, my grandfather started farming here back in, uh, in 1948, and so I, I understand uh, uh, things go up and down. That's right. So you've been, uh, the, the farming's been going on since 1948. When did the winery first start? Uh, we actually started growing grapes in 1982, mm -hmm. and we, we made our first wines in 1986. So we've been at it for just over 20 years now. Wonderful. And so, what's your flagship wines? What what are we looking for when we taste Tally wines? Well, uh, the the two things that we're most noted for are Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, both of which uh -huh. uh, thrive in this very cool coastal climate here in the uh -huh. Arroyo Grande Valley. Excellent. And how many uh, vineyards do you have right on the property here? Uh, right here where we're located uh, is the Rincon Vineyard. We also have Rosemary's Vineyard, a, a vineyard named after my mother uh, just down the road. Mm -hmm. We own two other vineyards in, in the Edna Valley and, and one vineyard in, in Paso Robles. Great. So you can uh, select from a lot of different uh, fruit and uh, decide what you want to make and uh, how it's all going to taste in the end. Uh, exactly, and that's, <laughs> that's one of the most interesting uh, parts of the business as far as I'm concerned. Well, tell us about Bishop's Peak label. I see that label as well. It's a r excellent dinner drinking wine. It also comes from the Tally Vineyards, is that right? Well, Bishop's Peak is what I call our growers label, and that involves a collaboration between ourselves and, and other growers that really share our commitment to high quality farming. We buy those grapes and, and make the wines here, whereas the Tally Vineyards wines are produced entirely from our uh -huh. own grapes. Excellent. And by the looks of it here, you're using oak barrels. These are uh, French oak. Is that mostly we use? Any other? We use a little bit of American mm -hmm. oak on, on the Bishop's Peak wines, but uh, the, the Tally wines, we use 100% okay. French oak. And the 2008 harvest, which you're just finishing up with, uh, you said today is you're bringing in the last bit of the Cabernet from the north. Um, how's it looking? What's the quality like? Uh, so far, so good on the, on the quality side. Uh, you know, I think Pinot Noir, the, the yields were reduced a little bit, but I think flavors are, are very concentrated. Uh, we had a nice crop in the Chardonnay, and the flavors of the grapes were just fantastic Excellent. this year. Well, this is some great wine coming out of uh, this region out here. We're in Arroyo Grande Valley. This is a beautiful winery you've got set up here. We're going to take a little tour and see the Hacienda style tasting room and some of the other uh, features you have on the property here. But thanks, Brian, so much for well, letting I'm us glad come you on come, in here. Harry. Great. Well, we'll look forward to it and look forward to having some great Tally wines here in Arroyo Grande. We're in the Rincon room here at Tally Vineyards. 
This is kind of semi-private room uh, where there's wine events, tasting events, wine club activities are in here. Uh, it's also a gallery with local artists showing their wares. Um, plus, you as a, a member of the wine club can come in and actually reserve this room with advance notice and with a few friends have a sit-down tasting led by one of the staff here at Tally and they'll walk through uh, numbers of their wines that they have available here. So come on out to Tally Vineyards and check out all the activities they have going on for visitors.